Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Hope you all are doing good. So today we'll talk about table spaces. Okay. So basically we will explore the fundamental concept of table spaces, which is quite crucial in order to efficiently manage storage space in a database. So in this particular video, first we will talk about what is table spaces, then we'll see what are different types of table spaces, then how we can create and modify table spaces, and at last we'll see how we can assign table space to one particular table. Okay, so let's start the video. But before that, I would like to say thanks to all our viewers who are continuously supporting us. So your support means a lot to us and help us creating great content continuously. So keep watching, keep providing your support to us. Okay, and please like, subscribe and share our videos in order to reach more audience. So let's try to understand what is table spaces in Oracle. Okay. So basically, one or more data files that basically forms logical storage unit that is called table spaces. Okay. So these table spaces, it actually contains the database data. Okay. Now let's talk about some key components which basically forms table spaces. Okay. So number one is data files. Okay. So this is basically physical files. Okay. Stored on a disk. Okay, it actually contains the database data. Okay, each table space is associated with one or more data files. So at least one data file has to be there, which should be associated with table spaces. Okay, then we have segments. So within a table space, segments are there. Okay, which basically stores database object. Okay. Then we have extents. So an extent is basically a contiguous block of storage space. Okay. It means there may be multiple blocks. Those are adjacent. Okay. And those adjacent blocks, they basically forms extents. Okay. And a segment is made up of one or more extents. Okay. Then we have block. That is the smallest unit of storage in Oracle. Okay. It's basically part of an extent. Okay. So table space normally looks like this. Okay. So in this particular table space, we do have two data files. Okay. And there may be scenario that wherein one table can span or can utilize two data files. Okay. So here two data files are there. Okay. So this is an example of table space with two data files. Okay. And within one data file, there may be several different database objects like index, table, views, procedure, functions. So all these will be there. Okay. So data file actually contains the actual data. So if I summarize it. Okay. So basically table space is collection of different data files. Okay. Now let's talk about types of table spaces. Okay. So system table space. Okay. So it actually contains Oracle data dictionary and system related information. Okay. Oracle automatically creates system table space when database is created. Then we have user table spaces. So this is used to store user data such as tables and indexes. Okay. So it's normally created by user. Then we have temporary table space. It is basically used for temporary storage. Okay. It is basically useful for shorting operation. Okay. Order by operation. Okay, or some sort of temporary operations. Then we have undo table space. Okay, it is basically used to store information to undo changes made to data. Okay, it is quite useful for rollback operations. So these are basically four types of table spaces. Okay, if there is no table space assigned to one particular user or one particular table, okay, then by default, System table space is used as a default table space. Okay. Table space operations. Okay. So creating a table space. Okay. If we need to create, you know, like new table space, in that case, that's the syntax. Okay. Create table space. Okay. That's a keyword. Then we'll have to specify table space name. Okay. Then data file. Okay, we'll have to provide data file name, size, then that size should be in MV. Okay, auto extend on next. Okay, 
So basically, if you enable or if you, if you mention this particular feature, okay, if table spaces reaches the maximum limit, it automatically extends, okay. And this is the increment size in MB, okay. Here you can specify it and what's the max size, okay. So this is basically syntax of creating table spaces, okay. Then let's see one example, okay, create table space. Here we are creating table space named example underscore TBS data file. We are specifying data file name over here, then size, then you know, like the size of that particular data file auto extend on next, okay, 10M, 10MB, max size and unlimited, okay. So this is also one of the option rather than specifying max size, we can also specify unlimited, okay. But you will have to make sure that it will not fool your database. Then how we can alter a table space? Okay, for that one we do have this particular command alter table space. Okay, then basically you know like the uh, table space name, a data file. Okay, if we want to add you know like any new data file to existing table space, this is what we can do. Okay. Then dropping a table space, if we want to remove one particular table space, okay, this is how we can do it. Drop table space is the command. We'll have to specify table space name, okay, and this including contents and data files. So it will remove all the things related to that particular table space, okay. Then resizing a data file, okay. Let's say it will have to increase the size of particular data file that also we can do it okay so we do have keyword resize by which we can extend the size of data file okay so this is the syntax alter database data file then the table space name resize and the size okay the new size okay this is what we can mention here now let's talk about how we can assign this particular table space to particular table okay so for that one this is the syntax create table and at last we can specify the table space with table space name. Okay. We can also modify or we can also add new table space to existing table. Okay. For that one we'll have to use alter table command with the keyword move table spaces. Okay. So finally the syntax will be alter table table name, move table spaces, then new table space name. Okay. Now let's look at some examples. Okay. So here we are creating employee table using table space my table space. Okay. Then we are actually, you know, like assigning new table space to existing table employees. Okay. Using move table space keyword. Okay. Now how we can verify, okay, what is the default table space? Okay. For that one, okay, if we want to check default table space for all users and we do have DBA access, then we can run this particular query, okay. We can simply run query on DBA users and we can get the default table spaces for all the username exists in that particular database, okay. And if we want to check the default table space for currently logged in user, okay, for that one, we do have table user underscore users, okay. So using that one, we can verify it. So that's about table space. Okay. Let's try to create table space at R end and see how we can create it. So that's about table spaces. Let's see how we can create it. So let's try to create one table space. Okay. So create table space. Okay, now the table space name. So I am giving here my table space. Okay, then we have a data file. Okay, so I am giving maybe my table space dot dbf. Okay, so data file is having extension dot dbf. Okay. Then the size of table space, I am giving here 100M, okay. Then uh, auto extend on next, okay. 
if it reaches to maximum size okay then automatically it should be increased by let's say 10 mb okay then the max size of this particular table space okay i am keeping 200 mb okay now let's try to execute it okay so this particular table space is created okay now let's create one table which will use this particular table space let's say create table okay i am giving name test uh, tab space okay then let's say uh, and putting here employee name where care to 50 okay then the city where care to 50 again okay then at last i'm mentioning the table space table space it should use my underscore table space okay so finally the table is created test type space this table is created and it's using table space my table space okay now we can write one query which will show us whatever different table spaces are available okay so we'll simply query on select star from dba table spaces okay so it will show us so it will show us all the table spaces available in this particular database okay okay so see our table spaces listing over there okay now if we want to know the default table spaces for different users so for that one we can query on dba users select username comma default table space from dba users okay let's execute this okay okay so this will list all the usernames and their respective default table space okay now if we want to see the default table space for currently logged in user okay so as of now i have logged in through system user okay so let's see select star from okay or maybe the same select username comma default table space from user users okay okay so it's listing me okay so it's listing me default table space for username system okay now let's remove this table space okay uh, before that let's drop this table as well drop table as underscore tab space okay i'm just dropping this table okay but i dropped the table okay now we'll drop table space so drop table space now table na space name is my table space okay then including contents and data files will so we want to remove all the contents related to this particular table space so finally it has dropped our table space okay and respective data files and associated contents are also dropped okay so similarly you can try for other option as well like resize and move table space okay in case of any issue please let me know and provide your comment in the comment box okay so we'll stop here hope you would have liked this particular video please like and share this particular video i'll see you in the next video 
टिल देन गुड बाय थैंक यू कीप वॉचिंग